Okay, there we go. <laughs> Get my notes back up. Okay. Welcome to Scooby-Doo Legend of the Podcast. It is our first season finale. 13 episodes. We've made it. So, we have today Mariah. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> London's back with us. I'm back. <laughs> After two episodes of After not. two. I know, you guys I are know, sad. I miss her. <laughs> I missed you guys. <laughs> and for the first time, we have four people with us. We have Andalina. Woohoo! Welcome. So excited. Oh, and the puppy. dogs that are coming to join us. <laughs> Hi, Waylon. Brian's girlfriend. Yeah, that's Sheila. Sheila. <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> Yeah, so we got Andalina to come. I was like, hey, you want to come do this? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is our first with four. We'll see how this goes. It's going to be, be fun. fun. Hey. Wow, Jinx. Whoa, <laughs> Jinx by Miko. <laughs> <laughs> so we did, this is chapter 13. It is Lights, Camera, Monster. We got a crazy dog going on. <laughs> he planted himself over here by me. So this is the season the season finale for season one of A Pup Named Scooby-Doo. So I, we're just going to consider this our first season finale of the podcast. Okay. Woot woot. woot. <laughs> you can't tell we're partying really hard over here. Oh yes. <laughs> you can't hear the music. We had to pause it. <laughs> so what did you all think of this episode? I don't know who wants to go first. You go first, Mariah. Okay. I liked it. I thought it was really fun and... I really liked um, Fred's personality in this one. Normally he's just kind of all over the place, which he still kind of is. But I enjoyed it in this one especially. And I liked how they brought back some some characters from previous episodes. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Me. My <laughs> turn. <laughs> okay, that's so funny because I was thinking the same thing about Fred. He's super, like into i don't know he's very yeah he's very he's really... not himself but yes himself he was very like outspoken and kind of uh more forceful in this episode i guess he's kind of getting more he was more like into this whole director mode so i think he's getting yeah. a little bit of an ego and a little bit more talkative so like you said he's different so i, fun, I like that yeah. too it was fun so um, but yeah, I like the setting. You get to, we're entirely at the mall the whole time, and yeah, I think it was kind of fun, kind of something that you see kids doing, hanging out at the mall and all kind the time. of all the time <laughs> causing mischief. Or in this case, solving <laughs> solving mischief. mysteries. So yeah, I liked it. Well, the newcomer, I guess I'll go next. Is this your first <laughs> this, a pup named Scooby Doo episode? Well, this is pretty much my first Scooby Doo full episode. Oh, okay. I grew up not. Being allowed to watch Scooby Doo. Welcome to Scooby Doo. Who knows wow, why? We've, we've tainted you. I Interesting know. place to start. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. For real. I thought it was. I don't know. I. It was so interesting, but. See, I have a different take on Fred. Since I don't know who Fred is, I thought he was so bossy. <laughs> All of himself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's so. so <laughs> um. But I think my favorite is Velma, and she's just so cute, and she's so, like, observant, and just, yeah, mm -hmm. yes. like, smart, and just kind of hangs in the back, of it, but she's like, oh, I know, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So, I, I, I liked it, and, and Scooby's funny, so, and cute. So, <laughs> sure. I don't really have much to say since I've never Fred, seen Scooby. Fred, right now, yes, Fred is very, very different than how he is as an adult. Um, once Fred is an adult, he's, because he's blonde, they kind of go with that as he becomes a blonde, and it's just like, I can relate out there. to <laughs> my blonde hair. <laughs> so I, I don't love him in this series. He's some, I don't know, he's something you have to grow to like, but I do like him later on, how they make him later. He's just like, I need to show you guys the trailer for the new Scoob film, but there's a, there's a joke in it where it's like, um, oh, the bad guy's been stealing Netflix by watching on his mom's account or whatever, and Daphne's like, that's not fair for all of us who have to pay for Netflix. And then Fred's like, you have to pay for Netflix? <laughs> so, like, I don't know. He just becomes a really oh, crazy guy. Oh, gosh, that's funny. Anyway. Okay. So, yes, this episode takes place at the Coolsville Mall, which is the exact same look 
as the mall we saw in episode eight. Yep. When they were at the snowy mountain lodge, mm -hmm. um, Mr. Peterson wanted to build a mall on that land, and looks like he built it in Coolsville. Yeah. I'm sure Daphne was super happy about it. Well, she was. <laughs> she was like, all the shoes when they got there. <laughs> oh, Bronx, do you need to leave? The dogs don't want me as a newcomer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll jump in with Fred. That's who, usually, who we start with. The leader of the gang. What do we got for Fred this week? <laughs> what do we got? Well, uh, they were at the mall, obviously. Just chilling, because Fred was pretending to be a director and was getting ready to film his movie. I think, right? Yeah, he yeah. got a mm -hmm. camera for his birthday. Is that what they said? Oh, the yeah. Beginning? Oh, and he was I having. The birthday part. Yeah, I didn't notice that either. Yeah. And so they're like, let's go to the mall. Because yeah. apparently, mall monsters are a thing. Yeah. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> there, it's in like the daily. It wasn't the babble, the it was some like the exaggerator yeah. paper. Yeah, like exaggerator. one of those inquirer oh. papers you see at the grocery store. Yeah. yeah. And he was getting the rest of his friends to be the actors and actresses, and Scooby was the monster. I thought that Slash was funny. Rabbit. Yeah, that was an interesting monster costume. <laughs> I thought it was cute that they like gave Fred a hobby this yeah. time. Yeah, he was super into it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, usually he's like almost trying to catch up with the mysteries. Like, oh, okay, we got to this point. Oh, wait, now we're at this. I don't know, he's usually slow. Yeah. But so this gave him kind of something to do. While yeah, for The rest sure. of the gang were like, we got this. <laughs> We'll solve this mystery. Does exactly. he normally say sweetheart a lot? No. That was no. so weird. <laughs> yeah, it was like director talk. Right? Yeah. Like, no. Yeah, I think he was just trying to be the director. Like, that's how he talk, I guess. I guess. I know, that was kind of interesting. Like, cool, man. Mm -hmm. No, usually he's like, it was Martians. It was mole people. It was... He comes up with the craziest ideas. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. Oh, I thought it was interesting that they used his being a director and making a movie as the way to catch the monster. Like, yeah. Ron, so they incorporated cool. that, like, hey, yeah. you're you're really into this, let's do this. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, that was, that was cool. Velma put that together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right now, Velma's doing the plans to catch the monster. Mm -hmm. Eventually, it does go on to Fred, and we're wondering when and why. Yeah, because right. Fred always, his traps don't work. And Velma's, it's working. Yeah. I don't, so. I don't know if you guys caught this, but when they're accusing Mr. Thorne when they first meet him, Fred grabs her skirt and is trying to pull her away. Did you guys notice that? Oh, oh like when she was like... Holds Daphne. She was crawling up on the crawling table. Crawling on the table. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like trying to grab her. <laughs> I didn't notice that, but I remember climbing up on the table. Yeah, like in his yeah. Face. Grabbed her skirt. That's funny. It's kind of funny. Whoa, Fred. Whoa, <laughs> I was like, Freddy. why are you grabbing your skirt? <laughs> <laughs> Still a little young there, Fred. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Okay, you two are going to be really locked handy, out. Yeah. Oh, we can just have a stare down if you want. Okay, come here. Bye. I mean, we don't have to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> Being my friend is a privilege. Bye. Yeah. I don't want to be friends with you either. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, you lost your chance. Bye. Ah, uh, so good. Kicked out. No. <laughs> now we're locked in. Sure. <laughs> 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 so we're gonna be quarantined. <laughs> we're quarantined in here forever. <laughs> so Fred has like a bunch of different ideas of what he wants to direct. First, he wants to do a movie. Then he wants to become like a news reporter. Then he finally like decides on filming their cases. And Daphne's like, you know, that's a good idea. She's like, you do that. I know, kind of like to get rid of him, like, sure, yep. just go ahead and go do that, and you're annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Fred. laughs> yeah, right now, so right now, Daphne is kind of the one that's like, Fred, bring it back, think rational and whatever. <laughs> it's, yeah, Daphne is the level-minded one. <laughs> yeah, she definitely was in this episode. Yeah. Um... He apparently had the Scooby Snacks, but he forgot. Yes, because he, he was like, Daphne, don't you have them? And then she yes, doesn't have them. 
Fred, or Fred, Daphne hasn't had him for like five episodes. Really? And she's the one that always Since the him. Scooby Dude episode when they were at the know. beach. That's weird. So I mean four episodes. Yeah. I'm like, Daphne, what is going on? She was busy with her room. <laughs> <laughs> her new room. <laughs> well, you know, there were Scooby Snacks. Oh, well, she got a new room. I was going to say. There were Scooby snacks in her drawer. Oh, her dresser in the drawer dresser one drawer. time. Yeah. But yeah, she got in your room and all that got stolen. So. <laughs> and the <Yes>. Scooby snacks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so another note for Fred I had is that uh, well, Mister O'Greasy comes back. We see him again, and he thinks Fred thinks he's a great director. Yeah, I thought I was that like, was weird. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was weird that he was directing his own commercial. Yeah, me too. I was like, what? <laughs> but that's the only time we really saw him was when he was directing the yeah, commercial. It was, was kind doing. of interesting that they had him back. And I was like, oh, is he going to be a suspect? And then he never came back. I was yeah. like, never mind. <laughs> well, I didn't even think we were going to see him for a minute because we yeah. had a mention of him. Yeah. I was like, oh, hey. And then all of a sudden... Bam, here he is. Uh-huh. That was weird. And then so bam, bam, he's gone. And then he's not a part of this anymore. <laughs> and of course, Fred assumes red herring at some point. Yep. Oh, he's yeah. asleep. <laughs> In pink pajamas. Yeah. In a hat. <laughs> it's not the first time they've woken him up, though. In the <laughs> second episode, they went up to his window at oh, his house. Oh, yeah. They were like, he's desperate. Yeah. I was like, what time is it? Is he, if he's in bed, <laughs> like, what time are they at the mall? Yeah, really. <laughs> oh, I was like, wow, are they up super, super late in the mall? After hours. Well, maybe there's that's no why there's no one there. Yeah, yeah there's that's... literally no one in the mall. The only time I saw people was when they came out of the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was it. <laughs> True, yeah. Just empty. They're just sneaking in. Yeah. Apparently, maybe they get, like, special access because Mr. Thorne That's true. Um, hired them. Oh, yeah. so oh, true. They got hired yeah. for $25. That's the highest they've been hired for so far. They're making bank. <laughs> they've gotten hired for 25 cents a day. Plus oh. candy expenses. Yes. That was from <laughs> Mr. Boo. Mr. Boo. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mr. Boo. He was like, yeah, in that episode, he's like, it's pretty steep, but it's worth it. But it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's really all I have for Fred. Does anybody else have anything? Um, that's all I have, like, really. Yeah, just like super aggressive in the episode, I thought. Yeah. He finally just had a good idea where he was like, we can use my video recorder to record how we solved the case. And they all agreed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's there pretty was much. a newscaster that was like, Fred had a good idea, everybody. <laughs> yeah. It was kind of like sarcastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because was it in the last episode? I think it was in the last episode. The that same news broadcaster like interrupted, and he's all because Fred was saying all his ideas of what it could be and blah blah, and he's all like, "We interrupt this program." He's like, "If you don't understand Fred's ideas, we never do either." And he like rips up his paper. He's like, "Yeah, we don't understand you, Fred." <laughs> so I guess he kind of had to redeem himself yeah. a little bit in this one. It's making people pull their hair out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I guess we'll move on to Daphne. She's excited to be in a mall. Oh, yes. She's she's in her element, really. Yeah. She gets to shop while solving mysteries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, well, when they get there, they start, like, doing Fred's movie, and she's just like, the monster wouldn't be taking the shoes or whatever. Mm -hmm. so, so even when they're trying to do a movie, she's like, ghosts and monsters aren't real. So, <clears throat> And, oh, we learned in the last episode, um, her parents are that way, too. Oh. They're like, monsters okay. and ghosts aren't real. They were telling the gang that with Daphne, so. Oh, well, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. That's where she's getting it from. Which is funny what that they let her hang out with, like, the kids that are like, yes, they are. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Okay. Um, um, so well, so Fred, of course, is like, well, you like you want to be a movie star, don't you? So of course she's like, yep. yeah, I'll do it to be a movie star. Mm -hmm. So she's she's ready for that fame. Yeah, I I love the difference of their reactions between Daphne and Fred. 
like the way that they reacted to the whole movie. Yep. <laughs> like it was just like complete yeah. opposite, but definitely shined their personalities. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very true. Uh, Daphne also stops the ramp. The ramp. <laughs> <laughs> Daphne also stops the romp to go shopping. Yeah, yep. I, I caught that, that too. Yep. <laughs> she was like, wait, or she said stop or whatever and went in the store. You heard the ching ching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she comes out with boxes. With boxes. It's <laughs> funny. Um, I said that she wouldn't get in the quicksand again. She doesn't want to get yeah. dirty. She wouldn't oh, get yeah. in the quicksand when they were doing the movie. Catch the monster. Dirty. Yeah, especially you know in the mall, she's gotta look presentable. Yeah, especially. <laughs> well, and in the last episode, we learned her mom was like telling her, "You're gonna get your clothes wrinkled," and she's like, oh, "No, not wrinkles." So. <laughs> Yep. So this girl, very high maintenance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Super high maintenance. Very. Yeah, oh yeah, that was my note too, is that she made Shaggy go to the quick Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but Shaggy didn't like disagree or anything. He's just like, okay, cool. He's like, whatever. <laughs> um, she's the one that wanted to go talk to Grady Lawrence to go, she thought maybe we should go check on him mm. yeah, and see. Perfect. Um, and then she got like super in his face and then, and then Fred had to pull her <laughs> out <of the> <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah. She's aggressive. She's super aggressive. Just like Fred. They're both yeah, really. Like, they're, they have like similar personalities, but yet not. Yeah. 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 Fred's kind yeah. of like more into like the irrational part and then Daphne's really rational. Just yeah. Uh, but they're both they balance each other out. Yeah, yeah. they balance each other out. <laughs> It'll be interesting when we see him date, <laughs> how that <Right>. goes. <laughs> for real. And then uh, Velma and Shaggy dates for a little bit at one point. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of awkward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's weird. They're it is awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Velma, are we done with that? I think so. Unless you guys had something else. <laughs> no, we're good. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Velma has her briefcase back this time. Mm -hmm. She didn't have it at last episode because of Robopup, this robotic dog that helped them solve the mystery. Oh. Um, but yeah, it's back this time. And she has studio lights in her briefcase. Yes. Yeah, that was the first thing that I saw. Was Fred was like, get the lights. You know, lights, camera, yeah. action. <laughs> So she like wasn't in the movie. I just realized like yeah. she was like the like the tech the techie, the techie person, which is kind of sad. Like they didn't even put her in the movie. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> maybe I guess, kind of sad now. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess because I was in plays and stuff, I have respect for the techies. I'm just as important. I thought it's it was true. Fitting yeah. for her, yeah, her personality. Because she probably didn't fitting. really want to like be in the spotlight. Yeah, and she clearly she, had the equipment for it. She <laughs> right. She was like, I'm ready. She seems like she has an eye for detail. Yeah. yeah, and that's what techs need. Like that's that, true, like yeah. techs are really good at detail. That's so true. it makes sense that she wasn't in the movie. Yeah, even though it's sad, but <laughs> yeah. you need techs for a movie yeah, to be good. Right. So. Yeah, that's true. Um, we saw her computer come back. Remember, it broke the last time we saw it. Oh yeah. So either she got a new one or she fixed it. <laughs> she probably fixed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, she said so smart. Care a few. Yeah. Uh, but she also like knows how to operate this elevator at the mall. She's I know, like, that's yeah. why down. <laughs> she's the one that got him in there. Yeah, got backed up against the elevator, and she's like, oh, well, we'll just go in here. Yeah, and Shaggy was like, thanks, you saved us. Yeah. And so, I mean, I don't know why I wasn't, like, I didn't think this, but, like, obviously, they can read, but I don't know why that hit me when she, like, knew the up, down, stop, or whatever. I was like, oh, she can read, but I was like, well, yeah. Like, they've, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why I was like, oh, but, she can read, she can read. But I mean, like, she's pretty calm and like she yes. together she's in calm. like situations when they're all like, oh my gosh, and she's <laughs> like, okay, I got this, you know? Yeah, I like her. She's focused. I want to be her, <laughs> right? <laughs> she's awesome. I wish I was that calm in situations, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for you guys to see her older. Because she becomes really sassy when she's older. Mm -hmm. And so, like, yes. I don't know. She'll get completely different of what she's now. Mm -hmm. I love sass. But, like, she <laughs> like she knows Lately she's the kid. smart one. And so that kind of yeah. is where her sass comes from. She's like, oh, I got this. Just don't even bother me while I do this. <laughs> right. I love it. So she also has a phone in her briefcase. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Portable yeah. phone. And that's who, or Mr. Thorne calls her on yep. it, right? Yeah. That was funny. Yeah, and Shaggy was already, or Scooby was already <laughs> over there. Yeah, we right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, Scooby, just leave your friends. That's cool. <laughs> She makes the plan again. Yep. Which, yeah, then... Uh, did they, like, build that movie set, or was it just there? I... Yeah, I have no <laughs> idea, because... I was like... Uh, so it was like a jungle mm -hmm. theme, and mm -hmm. then a jailhouse. Yeah. With, like, bars, or, yeah. like, chains, chains on the wall that they'd strap Daphne yeah. in, and Fred... Uh, not Fred, it was Shaggy. Shaggy, Shaggy. yeah. I don't know. They must have built it. <laughs> Because I don't know where that would be in the mall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, unless it was from the previous film, or if they're making it for a second film. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe. It's... That's true. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, yeah, a previous set from a different film. And they mm -hmm. kept it in the mall because that's where you keep the sets. It's in the mall. <laughs> apparently. Yeah, yeah, apparently. Well, when the mall's that big. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that's where they do, like, their plan to catch the monster and whatever. Mm -hmm. But Fred took charge and the trap missed. The trap oh, yeah. missed. He was like, it's not going to fail under my direction. And then <laughs> it fails. Yeah. I and was then like, he's like, would you like to redo that, Stink <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's redo the take. <laughs> Cause, yeah, because they were directing, like, acting like they were directing the movie and whatever. And well, well, even smart. That was such a smart move. What? To pretend you were directing yeah, this yeah. movie. That was mm -hmm. genius. It was a good idea, but just poor execution. But failed at the yeah. end. Daphne even doubted for it. needed to get. <laughs> I doubted him, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, right now. I'm skeptical as the new person. Uh, anyway, yeah, we were talking about Velma, but that's all I have for Velma. I just put that when it came time for the Scooby Snacks, she was the one that pointed out there was a Scooby Snack Shack in the mall with 99 yes. different flavors. Yeah. Because Daphne didn't have them and Fred didn't have them. Mm -hmm. And they were like, oh no. And then she was like, ahem, right over there, guys. The answer <laughs> to your problems. Just so conveniently. <laughs> right. Years. Yeah, so we know there's at least 99 flavors. There's 99. We've seen them at the Scooby Snack Factory before. Yeah. Oh, well, we didn't know how many. Right? They need another one. What was the last one? Oh, you guys weren't. That was me and Angie. I was like, you guys didn't watch that episode. Yeah. Nice. Right. <laughs> but like the last flavor they did at the end of the episode, because they were like trying to make new flavors and whatever, and there was a cheese monster in that episode. And uh, the last flavor that we heard in the episode was uh, bubblegum Scooby Snacks is what they were going to do next. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, so I had nothing for Shaggy. Yeah. Yeah, poor Shaggy. I just, I feel like he was really much a supporter character of Scooby and he also just kind of narrated the beginning and the end. Yeah, he's still narrating the episodes. We, well, at least the beginning. Um, I, did I say this in the episode, or in the podcast? I don't know. But I know there's one episode where Fred will actually narrate just random side fact. Hmm. So. Cool. Anyway. Um, I put down that he was the one that tricked the monster into being, like, a shoe salesman for them. Oh, yeah. Yes, I noticed that. that yeah. That's right. And, yeah. That was kind of funny. Yeah, things. and then they all were like, oh, yeah, get me these shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I want this in this size, but not that color. Yeah. Yeah. It was funny. <laughs> one time, yeah, one, one point for all, ooh, roomy. Because <laughs> of the big boots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the monster was like, oh, yes, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'll get those for you. And I was like, okay. Oh, <laughs> he fell for it. He fell for it. Sometimes the monsters don't, but he definitely did. <laughs> Still a monster. Yeah, so that's. A running gag yeah. that they do mm -hmm. in every episode. At least Scooby and Shaggy will dress up as something and trick the monster. And yeah, sometimes either they fall for it or they don't. So, yeah, this time he really he went, went for it. it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I didn't have much for Shaggy either. He was kind for of Shaggy. like not as into yeah. this episode. So. That's all right. <laughs> That's okay. He still had Scooby. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, Scooby, as we said, uh, dresses as. The movie monster at the beginning, and he 
what was he like a, a beet or a something? Beet, a radish yeah, or something. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure it's a monster. Maybe it's because kids don't like vegetables. I don't <laughs> yeah, know. <yeah>, probably. <laughs> Especially <laughs> <with> beets. <laughs> I, know, I, I loved beets as a kid. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Should be like beet broccoli or something. I liked <laughs> broccoli as well. Turnip. Oh, like You're broccoli. good. You were raised good, clearly, because I didn't clearly. like broccoli. Because <laughs> <laughs> she didn't, wasn't allowed to watch Scooby-Doo. Yeah. So oh, yeah. <laughs> vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm scared of vegetables. <laughs> Um, I think he, or he found the first clue, because yeah. Mel was like, Scooby, he found the first clue. And I don't remember, it was the, the movie nachos. monster. Wasn't it the nachos? Was it the nachos? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I remember he saw the poster yeah. for Vincent Thorne, and they're like, let's go talk to Vincent Thorne. Oh, yeah. And then he followed the nachos, the nachos to yeah. the, I remember so that. he found the second clue, too, yeah. I think he said. So, I thought that was interesting. Which, but Velma pointed it out. I feel like, <laughs> because usually, like, Velma will say jinkies, and then they're like, oh, she found the clue. I feel like Velma said jinkies a ton in this episode, but like nothing happened when <clears throat> yeah, she said it. Yeah, it was just like jinkies, push the elevator button. Yeah. <laughs> I did notice that she took notes the whole time. Mm. Like she was just writing her notebook, but didn't say anything, but they kept like showing her writing in her notebook. She's so observant. I love her. Yeah, and then at the end she was writing, and then she had like the tape with the whole that Fred had yeah. filmed, but I don't mm-hmm. know what she was writing down. But anyway, yeah, she said jinkies a ton. <laughs> You're right. She did. Uh, then we had also brought up that there was, yeah, the, like, Scooby Snack Shack and whatever. Mm-hmm. So Scooby is like, oh, great, go order. <laughs> we'll go order some. That's how he got them. And then he gets vanilla. Oh, I didn't notice the flavor. <laughs> and I was like, of all the flavors, he gets vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> I must have missed that. That's so a, funny. You know, hey. classic, good middle ground. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I love vanilla, but out of 99 flavors. Yeah, true. Sure. That's kind of funny. <laughs> 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 then we also learned he's allergic to cattails. I oh did yeah. Not know that. Oh yeah, that's there right. There were cattails for some in reason. The yeah. little mall greenery. <laughs> <laughs> and he starts the music for the romp. Yes, mm-hmm. in the music store. Yeah, he's like a boombox yep. pulls out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that he, was he gets distracted by the cartoons. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And he was also Tarzan in the movie. <laughs> they yeah. Were in the fake Movie. Yes. He was Sarge Scooby and then like a uh-huh. Tarzan. Yep, Sergeant Scooby. Um, That's all I have for Scooby. That's he all I have Scooby. plays checkers with Stinkweed. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, he knows how to play checkers. So. Yep. <laughs> or at least <laughs> enough to <laughs> trick the monster. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's the one who traps Stinkweed after Fred's trap fails. Yeah, he does. He hits him in the quicksand. Yep. Mm. <laughs> Go, Scooby. He also found a lot of clues, too. Yeah, he was busy. And at one point, they're going, they're like reviewing all the clues, and he's just like, "We found that. That happened. Like he was just <laughs> oblivious to it all." So that was kind of funny. Like Scooby's just there, just to chill and have fun, have a good time. <laughs> yeah, he's just, just eat some food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hang just, out with his friends. He's so pure. He's just like, "Oh yeah, there's a monster." Pure fart. Pure fart. <laughs> he is super pure. Okay, that's all I have for the game. Yeah, I think so. So, red herring appears a little bit in this episode um as w- i think we already kind of said he was asleep yep he was asleep <laughs> they like i guess some camera crew went over yeah <laughs> maybe fred so set up cameras in oh his. yeah true. I, think, yes. I bet he said said that mm-hmm. yeah, i wouldn't be surprised <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so yeah that's really all we saw of red was he appeared on the tv he's all it's not me i'm asleep go away <laughs> go away so. leave me alone fred you bully <laughs> then some of the side characters uh we had a mall cop but like he just showed up at the beginning and then smelt the monster and ran away never was seen <laughs> yeah. again yeah <laughs> oh yeah uh the news broadcaster he's been appearing kind of a lot lately yeah he just interrupts the episode for a minute but then we had vincent thorne an actor <laughs> yeah he plays stinkweed in the movie stinkweed did you notice that the one that was playing, it was Stinkweed number 10. Yeah. They're up to mm. 10. Oh. Nice. There clearly had... was more than one movie, so that set could have been... Oh, true. Any number true. of them. Yeah. There, there's Maybe they use the same set, you know? Yeah. Save the budget or something. Mm-hmm. Save budget. So he hired the gang to clear his name because, like, he's worried everybody's thinking Stinkweed, which is the monster in this episode, is him. Which I should have caught that as a red flag because in the last episode, the guy was like, oh yeah, 
use my robo dog to help find solve the case yeah. and he was the one who did it so yeah because yeah. i was like it's too obvious that it's the other guy the other actor. yeah 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 <laughs> yeah it's never who you most suspect it's who you most medium suspect i thought it was the fbi lady at first well mm. that was weird that she like crawled out of the bushes yeah like, and i was like wait what I, and they didn't really explain why <laughs> i thought that was really weird yeah it looked like she was like had dressed or something. She was all like pulling her clothes <laughs> yeah. around her mall. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, get a little skanky in there. Yeah. <laughs> what is happening in the bushes? <laughs> she was also... I don't know if I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> FBI. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, sure you are. <laughs> uh, Vincent also got kidnapped. By Sting Queed. Oh. But I kind of thought yeah. it was fishy because all we saw was his hands. Yeah. You know, we oh, never actually yeah. saw Sting Queed mm. appear, so. Mm. Red flag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's all I have for Vincent. He paid them Yeah, he paid $25 them. a day. We kind of yes. already mentioned that, but. $25. Yeah. Well, yeah, because Fred was like, $0.25 cents a day plus candy expenses, and then he was all like, uh, I was thinking more twenty five dollars. And their eyes, yeah. <laughs> Which I doubt they ever got paid because True. he was. Which and sucks, yeah. man. He would have got paid. They would have got paid with stolen money. True. True. <laughs> he was like crying though. I need you to clear my name. <laughs> What an actor. He was oh, like, yeah, <laughs> sitting outside the theater for some reason. Well, I thought it was a cutout for a second because he was just sitting there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he wasn't moving at all. And <laughs> so I thought Jeffrey was like was yelling at a cutout. Oh, I, I got to tell you about my experience at work today. I don't know why that made me think of it. But... I love work stories. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. I just I thought it was interesting. He was just chilling out from the movie. Like, was it the premiere or something? Like, I don't know. I was like, is this like Hollywood? Like, cool, yeah. cool B place apparently for. Obviously, it's cool, Bill. Yeah. Cool. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so then we had Grady Lawrence. Yeah. Who was like the other actor and does not like Vincent. Because he keeps stealing his roles or. Mm-hmm. Poor guy. He can only yeah. get commercials, but he couldn't even get that. Yeah, he talked too weird. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's... It's just mm-hmm. too characteristic for that. Yeah, he's like, talks like a Shakespearean actor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, please. In like a oh, greasy restaurant commercial, so he's a little... <laughs> a little much. Not right for that. For all much. <laughs> that's where we got, like word that oh greasy you know was back yeah so he was like i am gonna go audition for this commercial yeah so then we see him auditioning for the commercial and that's where we see mr oh greasy again yeah but he didn't get it <laughs> and it was for these new bucket o nachos or something yeah bucket o nachos and then if they were too messy you could just use the bucket o napkins <laughs> <Woo-hoo>! <laughs> How convenient. It's oh, yes. all the bucket. Thanks for providing everything. <laughs> everything we need in a bucket. Um, I also, okay, this made me think it was Grady for like half a second because he was like, I wonder like what they would do with Stinkweed, like who would play him if Vincent went to jail or whatever. And I was yeah. like, oh, do you um, want to put him in jail? Mm. Is yeah. that about it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I did get it wasn't enough for me to be like, and mm-hmm. him. So, yeah. yeah, that was all I have for Grady. Um, and then we, ha- we kind of talked about Agent Jane Thursday a little bit. Jane but Thursday. I kind of yeah. felt like she didn't really have much of a role. Well, she only showed up like three She just said she was an that. FBI agent and then yeah. she was gone. But then she was dressed up in like a greasy bucket. Yeah, I noticed that too. Which I was like, I wait, don't yeah, know why. Which was so weird. <laughs> She How many like, cases are you on? That was just such a random <laughs> part of the whole episode. Like, yeah, and they're like, oh, look, there she is. What was the, like, I wonder if there's more to her story. Like, yeah. If she like, comes yeah. into another episode Maybe. or mm-hmm. something True. or, like, she gets mentioned again because I just feel like that was left unanswered. Like, well, I, what, what the heck? I say this a lot because it's kind of like a running, like, thing that people laugh at with Scooby is that we always have, like, 
the gang do these mysteries in a night and a day or whatever. And then right at the end, this random character will show up and be like, good job, kids. Yeah. I'm from the FBI and I've been trying to do this for months and whatever. And it's like, where were you this whole time? They have like the worst agents. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. But like no one except for Vincent will hire the gang. Yeah. Because they're like, I can be better than you. Yeah. <laughs> Well, obviously not. You've been here for like six months, and <laughs> yes. this person's still causing havoc. So, <laughs> so yeah, I know I didn't. Well, yeah. well but she was kind of pointless. She like, she knew it was Vincent though. Yeah, she was on his tail. So I guess like that maybe that explains why she was like right where he was, yeah. like disappearing too. But she just wasn't quite you know fast enough or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. She was weird. She didn't yeah. like Scooby at first, too. Yeah, she was just like, huh. Like, yeah, yeah, like, disgusting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah, so then, our villain of the episode, his name is Stinkweed. And he's just like a tall, ish, weeden looking thingy. Yeah, yeah tall, skinny. Skinny, which I don't know how the heck. He <laughs> yeah, I, I kept seeing him all the time. It's, it's not a greasy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought that was There's no way. There's no way he could fit in that costume. <laughs> it was literally like the stick bug, like, yeah. costume. Yeah, like so, so thin. I was like, that's not going to happen. And, like, everybody ran out of the mall because he stunk. Yeah, but it was like like he could just make it smell. Yeah, sometimes. Uh -huh. yeah. At first he didn't smell, but well, then... then there was a the time they poured water on him and <laughs> he grew flowers, flowers grew out of his side. <laughs> but they poured it in the most awkward place. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like you could have just poured it on his arm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nope, they had to pour it on his crotch. <laughs> <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> I was like, why are you pouring water right there? These kids. Just randomly grow flowers so on his crotch. Like, Stop! <laughs> <laughs> so he has like purple thorns all over him. And then he has like a really long tongue. Yeah, super yeah. long, gross. And uh, he could talk. He, I mean, he had like a raspy voice, but like yeah. he could say sentences and whatever. He didn't just say like one word. Which I kind of thought was interesting. I feel like we haven't had a monster for a while be able to talk. Because mm -hmm. the last one that we had was like a chef vampire thing. And he just kept saying like French something, sacre boo or something. Yeah. Sacre bleu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the totem monster just kept saying, get off my land. That's all he would say. Uh huh. And so, yeah, I feel like we haven't had a monster that like really talked. So That's I don't true. know. It's kind of nice. I was like, wow, okay. These monsters do know. They're not dummies. <laughs> and this is our second uh, movie monster. Yeah. Because the first one was... Boogity Bones. Yeah, Boogity Bones from Boogity the babysitter Bones. from beyond. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, and uh, obviously, I mean, if you can't tell who it was by how we've been talking, <laughs> it's Vincent Thorne, who, was, who plays him in the movies. Yeah. It was funny when they revealed and he took off the mask and it's just a skinny costume and then they like pull it down his chest like expands <laughs> yeah so like how did he fit i still don't get it because so, really he kind of like had a big upper torso maybe that's he why he was so him. raspy suffocating makes sense i was like i just want to see who's fitting in this costume <laughs> right, that's, that's all the I real magic <laughs> seriously the magic of movies <laughs> yeah for real. <laughs> Love it. So he wanted, to, well, he didn't want to play Stinkweed anymore in the movies, uh, and so he was trying to make Stinkweed basically have like a bad image and whatever, and take the money that he steals in the Stinkweed costume, uh, you know, for his own. I just feel like he should have just been like, I don't want to play Stinkweed yeah, anymore. Why like, did you're he, in a costume. He, he already is getting money for being uh -huh. that. Why does he have to go steal money? It was like this added perk or something. Yeah, like, really. <laughs> but I'm like, if you just, just saved didn't... himself some trouble, mm -hmm. right? Like you're already getting <laughs> you're paid, bud. Jail. Yeah, <laughs> now stealing. you're never gonna get paid. He kind of felt so. Like, I don't know. I felt like he was so like, okay, take me to jail. Like he didn't care. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. he didn't care. 
He was just so bored with being stinkweed in general. He was stinkweed at the mall and then stinkweed at the movies. Like, he was just over it. got tired of that life. Yeah. Just yeah. stinkweed life. But he's going to become stinkweed in jail because he's not going to do anything. Yeah. He's going to get stinky and then he's just going to be a weed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he pour some water on him. <laughs> 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 Make sure not to pour it out his grass. <laughs> oh my gosh. Might make him smell better though. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe that's why they pour it on. Yeah. The flowers smell good, so. It'll make you smell better. And we had a skunk too at one point because he went into a pet store. Yeah, and the like heart eyes. <laughs> yeah, it was like the Looney Tunes. Like, yeah, uh huh. <laughs> But I was like, why is there a skunk at a pet store? Like, is that a normal animal that you just go buy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. The smell has it all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. About so the I'd... smell. He, he, s- he sniffed out the <laughs> sliver. <laughs> pets for something. Pets for us. Oh, pets for us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, any pet for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, does anyone think Vincent's going to come back? No. Yeah. He was not a very strong villain. No. Entertaining, yes, but he yeah. was lame. I think he should come back and make another movie and mm-hmm. him just appear and just be like the monster and they're like, oh, it's Vincent Thorne again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like he, like Mariah said, he's just, he's just like, take he's me just, to jail. Yeah, yeah I think he's kind of give up. He's like, whatever. I'm My career is over. He has no motivation. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know, I liked his monster, but not... Like his plan. Yeah. Like it was kind of a weak plan. Yeah. I didn't really understand it. It was not. Yeah, it was all I was kind of confused too at the end. Yeah. I was like, so you were stealing stuff because you didn't want to be stinky anymore. But there was no point in stealing stuff. But then. You could have given it to like Mr. Lawrence. But then by ruining not, Stinkweed's yeah, image, Lawrence. you're killing your own career. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're in your one life. Like, like the, yeah. Yeah, I was going to be in jail until they were like 80. Maybe yeah. even dead. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it just smells so bad it's going to kill him. Sad life for him. I wonder if he just got immune to the smell. Because wouldn't he be able to smell it? Maybe it was, his he was so tight in his costume. <laughs> he couldn't expand Protect. his lungs. You know? yeah, he could oh yeah, he couldn't breathe. He could probably breathe his lungs. He was... He but yet he could like keep up with all those kids running around. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> it's all around interesting villain. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so some extras for this episode. Uh like you said, Andalina, they turn on cartoons and it's Yogi Bear. Yay! Oh yeah. yeah. It is. Um, Yogi. we saw Yogi Bear in the camping episode. Oh, that's right. Oh, he was really? out, yeah, where they went camping, he was there. That's so But funny. he was, like, a mean bear, like, he oh. ran for the monster and wow. <laughs> attacked it, like, <laughs> so. Yogi know, hasn't mm. been around any tourists for a while, he's getting feral. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought funny. that was cute. We saw Boo Boo, too, on oh, the screen. Boo-boo. And the ghost that voice, or the Mr. Boo, was Boo Boo, yep. wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah cute and then uh at the very end of the episode we had a bucket of scooby snacks out of greasy's restaurant mm, that doesn't sound very good no. I I it was, but he was eating them like you know greasy they're going out of style yeah. maybe that's a flavor oh greasy yeah, greasy. scooby snacks i was like he's greasy. famous he's got like a scooby snack stand oh greasy's named a snack after him <laughs> yeah <laughs> really <clears throat> maybe this is how they're making their name i want to see him fit in that car <laughs> oh yeah, one leg and that's half of the car. I don't even think he could fit a he leg in there. <laughs> it's like all round. <laughs> He's like a ball. <laughs> just roll him. It's so greasy. He's <laughs> <laughs> like slithers out of his costume. You'd have to I be greasy to fit. Yeah. I honestly think it would just rip. It would just <laughs> He's like greasy, just like slithers. Ew. Right <laughs> that's disgusting. That's why it smells. Because yeah. <laughs> he had flies. Didn't he have mm-hmm. flies on oh his head? Yeah, he always yeah. did. And that one all episode? those foods. Gross. Yeah. Well, and it, the first time we saw him in that episode, <coughs> Scooby and Shaggy were even like, yuck. And so, like, this is the first time they're showing interest in his food. Yeah, because it was Scooby snacks. Mm-hmm. Which, um, he was eating them like they yeah. were good, so I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> each, each their own. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So, I think that's all for this episode. Yeah. 
I think so. Okay, so my little continuity notes that I made. So when they were trying to trick the monster, um, the movie that they were making is Return to Stinkweed Island. And eventually yeah. we actually got a movie, it released last year, called Scooby-Doo Return to Zombie Island. Oh. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think there's really a connection, but I just thought the name was interesting. Yeah, well, they talked about them all zombie. Oh, that's true. Yeah, they did. Towards mm -hmm. the end. Yeah. I mean, they haven't been to Zombie Island yet, but... Right. Well, yeah, we'll have Zombie Island, then eventually we'll have a return to Zombie Island, so... Anyway. I just thought it was interesting. I was like, okay. Yeah. And then, uh, that same time frame of the episode, we get Sergeant Scooby. I don't know what he was supposed to be. I don't know either, because mm -hmm. I thought it was, like, some medieval movie. Yeah. And uh -huh. then it was, like, Sergeant Scooby, and I was like, wait. Because <laughs> it was kind of like a dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So eventually there's going to be a movie called Scooby-Doo Goes to uh, Hollywood, Goes to Hollywood. And Scooby's like basically trying to do all these different roles and whatever. And one time he tries to be Sheriff Scooby. So it just made me think of that. Think of that. I was like, oh, he's already trying to be <laughs> some sort of... Detective. You know, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ish. Um, Fred being a director, this is not going to be the only time that we see this. Uh, it won't be, I don't think, as big as this, but we will see a few other times where Fred has, like, a camera and he's trying to record different stuff or document different stuff and whatever. Mm -hmm. But this is the first time that we're seeing him have an interest in it. Yeah. And then, someone said Velma was writing notes throughout yeah. the episode. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I, I didn't catch that when we watched it, but it's interesting because then, uh, in that movie, Return to Zombie Island... We find out that she actually has a blog. Well, oh. Mystery Incorporated, we learned too. Yeah. So, yeah, anyway, eventually she'll have a blog and she blogs all their mysteries. Oh, yeah, because, like, she was writing down, but then they didn't really elaborate like, yeah. what was happening. So, that's interesting. But, yeah, and there, <laughs> there's a funny joke in the Return to Zombie Island because she's all talking about her blog and they're kind of like, You have a blog? <laughs> and she's like, you guys are subscribed to it. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah, that block. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks. Then uh, my last little continuity note. So Vincent Thorne, you know, is the actor in this episode. Eventually we'll have Vincent Van Gogh. And the first time we'll see him will be in Mr. Incorporated. And he's an actor. And, I mean, I've said this numerous times, but he's uh, eventually played by Vincent Van or Vincent Price. Oh, yeah, Vincent Price. Yeah. yeah. And so, but yeah, he starts out as, like, an actor, and then uh, later on we'll see that he's actually, like, a warlock and whatever, but... So kind of interesting. The Vincent name is just associated with acting. <laughs> with acting. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of, like, interesting. a very, like, you know... <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, they were at the mall, so nothing really much to connect this week, mm -mm. the timeline. We finished our first book here. In the timeline? Yep. We got book <laughs> Yeah. Would you want to come back or are you like, oh, eh. I want to come back. No. Yeah, I think Andalina is like super, I'm hooked, man. <laughs> she's really good at this. <laughs> Not really. I know. We try to do it at least every other week. Whenever London <laughs> has like, a weekend off. Yeah, I'm like, hey, we're going to do an episode. <laughs> it's Just been include fun. you. Yay. <laughs> Love it. So, yeah, thank you for joining us. Well, thanks for yeah, having me. That was fun. Me. I like to that hear your fun. perspective. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was fun. this is fun because I think we all notice different things, mm -hmm. and it's really cool how it comes together. Yeah, it's so fun. Yeah. Um, so you can follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at SD Legend Podcast. Uh, if you'd like to email us, you can do that as well at SD Legend Podcast at gmail dot com. Um, I know some people have been wanting to email. They've been taking notes while they've been listening to the podcast. Uh, I thought if we got enough emails or long enough emails, we would do kind of an in-between before we start the next season and kind of review the timeline so far before we keep going. So if you'd like to email us, uh, you know, any of your thoughts or suggestions or whatever uh, for this first season, this first book, so to speak, of our timeline, please do so. And we will, you know, do a podcast episode before we start uh, season two. And talk about where we're at currently. And yeah, if you would like to contact me personally, uh, you can find me on Twitter at Jazz820. 
I'm on Instagram under uh, smash underscore vlogs. And I also have a YouTube channel where I do other Scooby content amongst a bunch of other type of content. Uh, my channel is lowercase sm, all uppercase ash. If you search Ashton Hardy, it should be one of the first ones to pop up. You like my hand gestures? Yes. Like they can see me. <laughs> <laughs> they can pretend. <laughs> I, I do the same thing when I talk. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you guys have all in, have all been enjoying our podcast. We are excited to continue. I'm getting excited because like we're really getting into some things now. You know, now that we finished the first season, it's like we're, they're going to get older now, basically. We're getting close to our first movie, too. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see where we go from here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, that's going to do it for this week. Thank you all for listening. We'll catch you next week. See ya. Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Yay!